Hello again everyone, it's me Matt. I hope you're staying safe and sane during these very challenging, difficult times that we're all going through right now. Today's video I'd like to talk a little bit about the Canadian Army or the Canadian Armed Forces in general and how in which it's doing such a fantastic job of passing on communication and information to its troops. Now, although this video doesn't really pertain to those who aren't really serving, it also has a good background message which I'll talk about in a second. As many of you are aware, I am a current serving Canadian Armed Forces member in the Canadian Army as a primary reserve, so I'm a part-time soldier. Now, currently, uh, I cannot perform or, or take part in Operation Laser, which is the operation on which the Canadian Armed Forces is designated for the COVID-19 crisis. Um, I do have a full-time civilian career that I have to maintain, of course, and uh, these are really tough times. And, you know, as much as I want to serve my country and take part in that operation... It's just not, sadly, something I can take part in. However, this is a massive shout-out and thank you to, first of all, everyone who is serving in the Canadian Armed Forces in general, and also a big thank you to those of you who have committed or have been put on Operation Laser to support our nation, our country, and its people. It really does mean, personally, a lot to me, knowing that we have such an amazing military force that can provide that support, and not due just to, you know, the COVID-19 crisis. We've had many other humanitarian situations in which we've been supporting this nation, and I want to thank you all personally from every level and every spectrum of, of support and thoughts uh, to you all. It really does mean a lot to me, and I'm sure many of our Canadian uh, family and friends will agree with me on that. This video does have a bit of a background message, though. I'd like to share a video that was just released by um, the Canadian Army, which does have the commander of the army in there, and also um, the Canadian Sergeant Major, or the Canadian Army Sergeant Major. Uh, obviously, two of the highest ranking officials of the Canadian Armed Forces within the army, anyway. And they have a very clear and very, um, I think, productive and proactive message to the Canadian Army. And it's really nice to see that communication being passed down the chain of command and being shared on social media. Because at these really tough times when we're all sort of isolated, stuck away, and even in the Army, you know, some of us who aren't on that operation, you know, in the regular force are kind of stuck and isolated as well, not going through normal routine. It's tough. It's tough on everyone, um, you know, from all spectrums, all backgrounds. Uh, it's really, really difficult. But the key to trying to get through this, other than, you know, working together to prevent it from getting worse, is communication and working together, supporting one another in the background. And the greatest thing about the video that's being released or these, you know, communications that are being passed down is you know from the highest level, the people are there to support you in the military if you're in that career. And that they're there to support and provide, um, you know, guidance and, and, and information that allow you to still do your job, which is being ready. You know, in the military, we're always training to prepare for the next situation, the next task, the next mission. And the current mission right now is to fight this virus. We are at war with this virus wholeheartedly. That may sound a little, you know, cliche, but it's true. We as a nation are at war with this virus and we will win. It will just take time. And these kind of communications, these videos that get shared really kind of reinforce the fact that the army is there to provide a service and we're going to be able to win at the end. Um, so I just want to share this video because I feel like it's my duty um, as a content creator and as an influencer to share this message to as many people as humanly possible, even if you're not a Canadian Armed Forces member. I think it's a really nice background message to know that the commander of the army and, you know, and the sergeant major of the army are giving good information and they're telling you to stay upbeat, stay ready, look out for one another and, uh, you know, in general, we will win this battle. So let's take a look at it. The Army and our people are facing many challenges during this crisis. Uh, nous avons entendu uh, vos préoccupations et les impacts de cette situation. Sir, so talking about the, uh, the challenges we're, we're facing, there are some, some really critical restrictions that we are placing on our personnel. And these restrictions affect every one of our soldiers. So I know that a lot of our members have concerns about the APS, about house, house hunting trips, about compensation for cancelled leave. Can you fill us in or, or expand on any of these, these issues? Yes, Sergeant Major, that's a great question. Uh, for the posting season, you know, I think many of you will agree with me um, that there, is, there are a few things in the military that are more stressful than, than moving a family with a posting. You know, I myself have gone through many moves over the, over the last decades, and I can certainly attest to that. And so for those of you affected, uh, and, and you know this, we've put the posting season on hold for now, 
as we take a look at the posting plot. Uh, in fact, in the Army, we're taking a, a wire brush to the posting plot to make sure every single posting is, is necessary. Necessary in terms of um, operational requirement, institutional requirement, uh, career progression, and, and family needs. Um, in the meantime, house hunting trips have been delayed, but we hope to get an answer out over the course of the next week or, or two to let you know if your posting is still on or not. Um, you know, other things like changes of command, um, that, that has come up. So there will be no change of command parades this summer. And I know many troops will be disappointed uh, that they won't be marching around the parade square. And so further direction on how those ceremonies will be conducted uh, will be coming out shortly. Uh, there are financial implications out there I know many of you are worried about. Uh, Military Personnel Command has issued a number of, of can for gens that detail the uh, pro procedures to be followed to claim for certain things. And if you have questions about those, you know, please go through your chain of command and your units to get clarification. If any of you are suffering uh, from financial uh, challenges at home, make sure your chain of command is aware uh, so they can put you in touch with the resources that are available out there. So the, the next question I have for you is, is regarding mental health, physical fitness, and psychological resilience. Now these are all critically important things when at, at the best of times. So do you have any advice as to, you know, how do we keep these things going for our service members and their families during the COVID-19 um, event? Notre priorité à ce moment est la préservation de la force afin qu'elle soit prête à répondre aux demandes d'assistance. So force protection, uh, preserving the force, being ready, that is our number one priority right now. Um, so we got to stay healthy. Uh, we got to be ready to do this, ready to uh, ready to respond, and we have to be ready to do this for the long term. Staying physically active while you are uh, physically distanced at home is a challenge, but one that uh, has to be overcome. We no longer have uh, access to our, our gym facilities, uh, so we got to be imaginative. Uh, there's tools out that show you uh, how to use body weight uh, PT, uh, but we have to get, be out there and doing it daily. We have to be mentally engaged. So use this opportunity to work on your, your personal professional development, your professional reading, online courses, uh, just to keep yourself uh, active and don't waste this time. We have to be socially engaged. So reach out and talk to your friends, your family, your peers, uh, your, your coworkers, because that social connection is so important in our mental well-being. Uh, we have the technology, so, so use it, communicate, over communicate and continue to communicate. Uh, if you're having challenges, reach out. And in all, try to maintain a sense of humor. So that's, uh, that's excellent advice. And for those of you that are, that are concerned out there, you know, we do not have all the answers. In my 34 year career, I have never experienced anything like this. The commander has never experienced anything like this. So reach out, check with your chain of command, stay in contact. So in summing all this up, sir, do you have any final messages for the troops? So we don't have a crystal ball that tells us when this is going to end, but we do know we're going to be in it for a long time. And, and to maintain our health, maintain our, our readiness, it's going to take discipline. But the good thing is the Canadian Army is, is known for its discipline. And I view this as analogous to operations in other extreme environments, whether it be the Arctic, the desert, or in an NBC environment, where, where that discipline, that attention to detail, uh, that uh, that detailed planning is absolutely essential. But that requires vigilance and avoiding complacency as well. But we've got this, and I know you've got this. So avoid complacency. Look after yourselves, look after your family, look after each other, and in all, be ready. Merci beaucoup. So in my eyes, I think that's a fantastic short little blurb um, from you know the commander and, and the sergeant major to just reinforce some really important points. Some of the ones that really shine out to me right now is looking after yourself and others first and foremost. Make sure that you're looking after your own fitness, your own mental well-being, and also do those buddy checks, do those welfare checks. Even if you're not in the army or the military, you should be reaching out to your friends, your family, calling them, texting them, inject some humor into their day. 
These are really, really hard times for everyone, and we want to make sure we're standing up for one another and making sure that we're ready to push forward when we come out of this at the other end. Um, another really important, I think, message from this you know, piece that was shared from the army today is that we will get through this. There is you know, an enemy that we're fighting, but we will get through this. And also the, for the fact that you know this is a very difficult time to even know what could happen next. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's coming. Um, some people are saying that things could change soon. Some people are saying it takes forever. I think we all just need to take one day at a time, one step at a time, uh, and continue to focus on that personal development and, and helping and supporting others. I know I'm not trying to uh, preach the choir here. You know, we we are not all perfect. We we have things that. Sometimes we can't do, we can't uh, deliver, we can't maintain, but we have to try. It's our mission to, it's our job, it's our role to. And this is also a massive shout out and thank you to every frontline, so to speak, uh, worker or supporter that's providing services and infrastructure and uh, you know support to the nation and to the people around the world. We appreciate you, we thank you, uh, and truly from every ounce of respect that I have goes towards you right now. Um, you know, please, guys, if you want to have a chat with me, you want to reach out, you want to talk, please come message me on Discord or Facebook. Um, I'd love to chat with you guys if you're having a tough time. We had a whale of a time um, in my Discord the other day, just having a chat with some people. It was like the good old days. We were just chatting away, and it kind of brings people together a little bit more, too, even though we're socially distancing and away from one another. I found that we've actually been able to discuss a lot more um, with some people who hadn't spoken to in years, almost, which is really, really nice. Um... Please, please keep up, be, keep safe, look after yourself and others, uh, be respectful of, you know, the social distancing, maintain, um, you know, that strong discipline in doing what you have to do to make your uh, life push forward and get through this difficult time. Uh, a big shout out again to those who are, you know, supporting and providing services around the world during this time. It really does mean a lot. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd use this platform and this chance to share that video for those who are serving in the Canadian Forces. If you haven't seen it or not yet, there you go. Hopefully you can spread it around as well. Uh, check them out on Facebook. Uh, you can share this video around. Whatever you want to do, please pass it on. I think it's really important and those key messages that they were trying to provide uh, really spoke to me. And I want to thank them for doing that because from a high level on the chain of command spectrum, it's uh, it's nice to know that that communication is there and that we're getting it disseminated down quickly. Uh, accurately and effectively so uh, i guess fingers crossed for uh, the future and we'll see how this goes but uh, thank you everyone for joining me today if you want to be notified of any upcoming videos please feel free to click the little bell by the subscribe button and i will see you all again next time all the best stay safe bye bye